Mick Jagger, a charismatic frontman of the Rolling Stones, has been an enduring icon of the counterculture movement for over six decades. His dynamic stage presence and distinctive voice propel the band from London's burgeoning music scene to international superstardom. Jagger's unique voice and electrifying stage presence have become the stuff of legend, crafting some of the most enduring hits in rock and roll. Their music, a blend of raw energy and emotional depth, has garnered a massive fan base and numerous awards. Jagger's artistic ventures into film and his entrepreneurial spirit have showcased a multifaceted talent. His personal life has seen its share of the spotlight marked by a series of high-profile relationships and the challenges that come with a life lived on a grand scale. His love story began in the buzz of the swinging 60s, when he found himself in the arms of Chrissy Shrimpton, the sister of famous model Jean Shrimpton. Their love fizzled out soon after a singer named Marianne Faith entered Mix's life with her golden voice and eyes to match. Mickey Jagger's marriage to Bianca Perez was emblematic of the rock and roll lifestyle he embodied. They met in 1970 and their courtship rapidly became fodder for the press. Their wedding on May 12, 1971 was a glamorous affair set against the backdrop of the sun-drenched French Riviera in Santa Rafa. The couple's public appearances often bellied the tensions that simmered beneath the glossy veneer of their marriage. Their divorce in 1970-odd was as high profile as their wedding, marked by a contentious legal battle that was closely watched by the world. Bianca famously said her marriage ended on her wedding day, encapsulating the disillusionment of their relationship. The end of their marriage did not quell Jagger's romantic endeavours, but simply turned the page to a new chapter in his storied personal life stories. Mick Jagger's life was a complex and multifaceted one, with his romantic life being a subject of public fascination and mystery. His marriage to Bianca Jagger was a strategic move in the chess game of celebrity relationships, while his relationship with Jerry Hall was a roller coaster of love and family. They had four children, including Elizabeth James, Georgia May, and Gabriel. However, their marriage ended in divorce, and Mick was a father several times over. Mick's life also included challenges, such as arrests for wild parties and drug use. He was part of the rock and roll scene that flirted with danger, and his hedonistic lifestyle was not just about drugs, but also the whole package. His spiritual journey was eclectic, with him switching from the Church of England to Catholicism when he married Bianca. He later found peace in the tranquility of Buddhism, finding peace in the rhythm of ancient words. Mick Jagger's musical career began before the world knew his name in the 1950s. He crossed paths with Keith Richards at Wentworth Primary School, but their friendship faded as they attended different schools. Their shared passion for rock and roll reignited after a chance reunion at a train station in 1961. Their shared love for rhythm and blues bonded them, and their shared devotion to the guitar and mixed magnetic voice led them on a path that would shake the foundations of rock and roll. Mick was a student at the London School of Economics before fame, but it was there that he found the final members to complete the band that would soon become synonymous with the rebellious spirit of rock. The Rolling Stones were born out of a shared apartment and formed in 1962. Their first official lineup took shape in 1962, and the group quickly made a name for themselves with gigs at venues like the White House, the Kennedy Center, and the Kennedy Center. In summary, Mick Jagger's life was a complex and multifaceted journey, with his love for music, his spiritual journey, and his spiritual journey. Mick Jagger's life was a blend of blues and rock, with his early years at Marquee Club in London. The band was officially named The Rolling Stones after a muddy water song called Rolling Stone, and they started playing gigs at venues like the Caddy Club. Manager Andrew Luigi Oldham saw their raw energy and potential for greatness and encouraged them to start writing their own music. This led to a legendary songwriting partnership between Jagger and Richards, who catapulted The Rolling Stones from a covers band into a musical force. By 1964, the band had achieved their first hit with Not Fade Away, a cover of a Buddy Holly song, emblematic of their rock and blues fusion. 
Their self-titled debut album, Aftermath, featured blues covers and a single Jagger Richards original, solidifying their place in the British music scene. The band's sound evolved with the rawness of their early blues style, merging with the psychedelic influences of the era. Albums like Mother's Little Helper and Under My Thumb showcased this shift, featuring more complex arrangements and a broader range of instruments. As the 1960s came to an end, the Rolling Stones established themselves as the legends of rock rebellion, their music taking on a harder edge and their lyrics often reflecting the social and cultural upheavals of the time. Their personal growth was also evident with Jagger's relationship with Mary Ann Faithful, an icon in her own right, often credited with influencing the band's style and sound. The 1970s era began with the release of Sticky Fingers in 1971, which bore the first appearance of the now iconic tongue and lip design. This period saw Jagger evolve both as an artist and a celebrity, with songs that spoke of excess and hedonism mirroring his own life. The Rolling Stones, a legendary American rock band, faced numerous challenges in the early 1970s, including drug busts, legal battles and rumours of being targeted by authorities. Despite these setbacks, the band continued to release hits like Angel, which showcased their more reflective side. However, the band's adaptability to changing rock landscapes and the rise of punk and disco music led to mixed reviews and a decline in their creative force. In the mid-1970s, the band faced internal friction, with Jagger's growing celebrity and outside interests creating a divide between him and Keith Richards. This tension led to speculation about their possible split. The band's end-of-the-decade releases, including Some Girls and Emotional Rescue, were critical and commercial successes, demonstrating the band's ability to stay relevant. Jagger decided to step out as a solo artist in 1985, releasing She's the Boss. This move was met with anticipation and curiosity from fans and critics alike. However, it also steered tensions within the band, particularly with Richards. The band released Tattoo You in 1981, which included the hit Start Me Up. In the 90s, Jagger and the Rolling Stones faced a new era of music, dominated by a new style of music. In 1991, the band ended a three-year hiatus and recorded Voodoo Lounge, a return to their bluesy roots that earned them a Grammy. As the world approached a new millennium, the Rolling Stones showed no signs of slowing down. They released Bridges to Babylon in 1997, experimenting with new sounds and producers while receiving mixed responses. This demonstrates the band's willingness to experiment and adapt to the current musical climate. The Rolling Stones, once a band with a strong narrative of survival and longevity, have become living legends with every new album and tour. In 2002, the band celebrated their 40th anniversary with the release of 40 Licks, a greatest hits compilation featuring new tracks. Mick Jagger's personal achievements were also highlighted during this era, with his knighthood in 2003 acknowledging his contributions to the cultural fabric of Britain and beyond. However, Keith Richards publicly expressed disdain for Jagger's acceptance of the knighthood, viewing it as a betrayal of their anti-establishment roots. The early 2000s saw the Stones grappling with the implications of their legacy, but their first studio album in 2005 was met with critical acclaim. Songs like Rough Justice and Streets of Love echoed the band's classic sound while proving they could still deliver fresh material. Jagger's business acumen came to the forefront with involvement in various ventures, including the launch of the band's fashion line with Tommy Hilfiger. His high-profile appearances and engagement with new generations of fans and artists reaffirmed the band's influence on popular culture. The Stones' music was ubiquitous featured in films, advertisements and covered by artists across various genres. In 2012, the Stones celebrated their golden milestone with the 50 and counting on tour, which saw Jagger Richards, Watts and Wood proving that age had done little to diminish their energy and showmanship. The Stones' new music during this era included the release of Blue and Bloam in 2016, an album that took them back to their blues roots and won them a Grammy for Best Traditional Blues Album. In 2014, 
Jagger faced profound grief with the death of his partner, fashion designer Lauren Scott. Her suicide left a silence in the fashion world and the band, but Jagger found a kindred spirit in her. The band postponed their tour, giving Mick the space to grieve, and when they resumed, Jagger delivered electrifying performances that bellied his personal turmoil amid these personal upheavals. The Rolling Stones, a cultural force, played a historic free concert in Havana, Cuba in 2016, a feat that would have been unthinkable during their height of fame when rock music was banned in the country. Mick Jagger, the iconic singer, was not immune to conspiracy theories about his boundless energy and trim physique. As the world entered the 2020s, the Stones faced new challenges and continued their reign as rock royalty. Jagger's life was marked by the sudden death of Lauren Scott in 2014. A painful reminder that behind the indomitable stage, Persona was a human being susceptible to profound loss. The band launched the No Filter Tour, proving their appetite for live performance was insatiable. Jagger's dynamic presence as a musician and performer was evident in interviews reflecting on his career, changes in the music industry, and his own creative process. In 2019, Jagger underwent heart surgery, which became a source of speculation and concern for fans and the media. Despite this, Jagger returned to touring within weeks and continued to intersect with his solo ventures. His versatility and ability to entertain audiences were a testament to his versatility. Jagger's family is extensive, with his children's lives sometimes becoming as public as his own. His relationships with his children and partners have been dynamic and multifaceted, with the public's interest never waning. Jagger has managed to balance his public life with the demands of his career, defying age and transcending the concept of remaining a fixture in an industry that worships youth. Mick Jagger, a multi-talented artist, has ventured into the world of movies and music. His magnetic charisma and talent have allowed him to adapt to various roles and projects, including his role as the Australian outlaw in Ned Kelly, 1970, and his involvement in the sci-fi thriller Free Jack 1992. Jagger also founded Jagged Films, which produced the wartime thriller Enigma in 2001. In addition to his music career, Jagger has ventured into the business world, investing in real estate and fashion. He has also been involved in tech ventures that are as cutting edge as his music, embracing the digital stage as much as the physical one. Jagger's influence extends into activism and philanthropy with his support for environmental causes and advocacy for music and the arts, solidifying his role as a conscientious voice in the global conversation. Jagger has been vocal about climate change and used his platform to raise awareness about this critical issue. He has supported global movements and encouraged his fan base to take action for the planet during times of disaster. Jagger has also participated in relief concerts, raising funds for victims and serving as a beacon of hope and solidarity. In education, Jagger has supported music education for underprivileged children, understanding the role that music plays in shaping individuals' lives. His boldness and innovation have made him a valuable asset to the entertainment industry and beyond.